investigation did you find out that as far as the dates is concerned and the time, uh, were they off on the report that you actually have to find the correct, the answer to that by getting with the manufacturer of Dormacom? Yes. Okay, Dormacom was D-O-R-M-A-K-A-B-A? -A -A. Yes, sir. Can you explain that to the jury, how it is that you were able to figure out the relative dates and times for each of these events? Yes, we met with the Dormacom representatives in Kentucky during this investigation. That host computer is what gives the date and time stamp to the ho to the transition device to the lock. If that host computer's daylight savings time is not correct, it may throw the time on the lock audit report off by an hour, either up or down. They were able to show that to us, and I believe the engineer was able to write a computer script to correct that. Uh, excuse me, I'm sorry, he did that for the date, because it showed 2012, but he did that for the date, for the year. So the date, uh, the time of the day and the month was correct on the report, but the year showed 2012 instead of 2018. He wrote the computer script to correct the year, and he was able to tell us and show us that the time was off by an hour, give or take, depending on daylight savings. Okay, so these logs, they have to be manually updated to reflect daylight savings times versus when it's not. That's correct, yes, sir. So unless there's a, an actual update, it's going to keep the same time until it's updated again. That's correct. So based on what you learned, and I was with you, I appreciate you letting me out there, uh, you learned basically a, a good approximation of when the events were on these particular days. Yes. Starting with apartment number 1378, going to September the 6th, does it indicate that the only door lock event for apartment 1378 on September the 6th registered at 623 a.m.? Yes. Okay. When we reflect the change for uh, the, the one hour, would that indicate about 7.23 a.m. as being when the resident of 1378 either locked or unlocked that door? Yes. No other events for September the 6th, is that correct? That's correct. <clears throat> for apartment 1478, going to September the 6th, there were a number of lock unlock events that particular day. Is that accurate? Yes, sir. Okay, would that be suggestive of the fact that the resident of 1478 locked and unlocked his door several times that day, perhaps running errands or so forth? Yes, sir. And the last lock event, would you agree, is going to be at, as recorded, 8.34 p.m. on September 6th? Yes. Again, we're going to adjust the time to include the, the adjustment for savings time, that would make it if ac you know, accurate at 9.34 p.m. Correct. All right. Do you have a, a reasonable degree of confidence that those times, as Dormacaba uh, explained them to us, are accurate with the one-hour addition? Yes, I do. Okay. 